Hello everybody and good day. This is Fred with Tech Talk and I'm coming at you today with a video based on a subscriber question. This is from David who is an installer and his question is, you know, HeckVision IP cameras, they have different series. They have a value series, they have a value plus series, uh, they have an ultra series. What's the difference between all of these cameras? Obviously the value series have a lower price point um, than the ultra series. Um, but what are the features, the differences in the cameras? Because on the outside, right, um, they look very similar. Um, so that confuses people. So the purpose of this video is going to be to walk you through the differences, the dark fighter technology, uh, the built-in microphones, uh, smart motion detection, cameras that can detect people in vehicles versus shadows or snow or rain. Okay, there's a big difference in these cameras. We're gonna cover them right now. All right, what do you say? Let's get into the meat and potatoes. Before we do, you know the drill. There is a subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Please click that and subscribe to our channel if you have not yet done so. That way you'll be notified when we upload future content just like this. Also like the video if the content's useful to you. And as always, leave comments. Um, this video is coming to you because of David's question, okay, on the differences in the HeckVision IP series. Um, so yes, these are AccuSense Ultra Series cameras, okay? They're fairly advanced cameras. Um, they have uh, algorithm technology, artificial intelligence, which is AI. Um, they have the ability with motion detection to sense uh, only human beings and, and vehicles right? Uh, the less expensive value series cameras, if you've ever tried to employ uh, motion detection with those, trees moving in the wind will set them off. Um, I've seen clouds overhead on a cloudy day, uh, put a shadow on a driveway that sets off the motion. I've seen snow, heavy rain, uh, you name it. Um, just, just unknown things set it off um, because it's a value series cameras. These AccuSense cameras, they don't have that problem, okay? From experience, they will only show you people in vehicles. We're going to go through some examples uh, when we pull up these cameras on the computers to show you the difference in the motion detection capabilities. Okay, they also have dark fighter night vision. Okay, so it's a very, very clear picture at night, whereas the value series cameras, uh, not so much. Okay, the AccuSense cameras, you'll be able to see 150 feet in the dark, um, whereas the value series cameras, um, you know, maybe you only get 60 feet or 70 feet. So there is a difference with night vision as well as the motion detection capabilities. Okay. Um, the AccuSense cameras or the Ultra Series also have micro SD slots or micro uh, SD cards for memory storage. Okay. So you don't need to hook these to an NVR. They can store video locally. Um, and a 128 uh, SD card can hold probably two weeks worth of video from this camera at eight to 10 frames per second. Uh, maybe a little bit more if you're recording on motion in an area where there's not a lot of activity, okay? So you save a little money right there. You don't need an NVR, okay? Uh, these cameras also have a built-in microphone allowing you to hear what's going on at the camera location. Uh, if, if a car is squealing its tires, uh, if there's a disturbance, um, an explosion, uh, you can hear noise through these cameras, whereas the value series cameras, they do not have built-in microphones. And when I say the AccuSense cameras have built-in microphones, um, that allows you to hear what's going on there. It does not allow you to speak. Um, they do not have speakers. They do have on the pigtail, which we'll show you uh, when we cover that, the ability to attach a speaker and an amp to it, which will allow for two-way communication. Uh, but as it comes, it only comes with the microphone to hear people. Uh, it's also uh, weather rated and for harsh environments, you can put it outside uh, and it's vandal proof. So these are very good cameras, okay? So when people ask the difference between a ultra series camera and a value series camera, um, those, those are things, you know, the motion detection capabilities, the algorithm, the built-in algorithms, uh, the dark fighter night vision, the micro SD cards, um, the microphones being vandal proof, uh, all of those contribute to the increased price point, right? If you compare a Kia to a Mercedes, they're both cars, right? But the Kia is going to have limited 
you know, options. That's why it's $17,000. The Mercedes at eighty dollars or $90,000, it's going to have the bells and whistles. It's going to have, you know, the heated seats, the heated steering wheels, um, motion to, to, to get you in the right lane and all that type of stuff, auto braking. Uh, cameras are no different. So, so uh, yeah, value series might run you $60 and you can employ a camera, but it's not going to give you the same capabilities and advances uh, as a camera and the uh, you know, the ultra series, such as an AccuSense camera that retails uh, for twice that, you know, these are around $150. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pull each of these cameras up. We're going to pull up an AccuSeries camera and we're going to pull up a value series camera, which will be an ECI-D12F2. Um, the value series camera retails at about $69. There is a link in the description of this video to order one of those. This ultra series camera is a PCI-B15F2 camera. It's a five megapixel camera with a 2.8 millimeter lens, and it is awesome. Again, there's a link in the description uh, to this video to order this camera as well. Okay, so let's pull it up on the video and show you the differences as far as motion detection and night vision. All right, we can start with a live view shot of a value series camera. As you can see, uh, this is a two megapixel camera. It is uh, somewhat clear. You can read the lettering uh, on the truck and the phone number and stuff like that. Um, so it's not a low quality picture. Okay, this is a decent picture. As we mentioned, the differences would be at night vision uh, during playback with motion detection, uh, the mic and stuff like that. Um, but this gives you an idea of what a value series camera uh, will show us during the daytime. Now let's switch to a Ultra Series camera. All right, and here we have a AccuSeries um, Ultra Series camera. And as you can see, it is detecting movement, okay? Um, this fellow here with the green box around him, um, it's detecting a person there. If he were to cross this line, uh, he would turn red. This is our line intrusion. So anything that crosses here is going to cause an alarm. Anything that we see here uh, that is moving a vehicle or a person uh, is going to trigger motion recording, uh, not the alarm. Uh, we should see a vehicle pass here pretty soon, and you will see it in a green box. Um, it will detect vehicles moving. Um, let's see if we can find the car go by. There we go. There was a green box. Hopefully you saw it. There's another one um, that will detect vehicles even at that distance. Um, so there is the uh, proof. It's in the pudding um, that this can detect people in vehicles. OK, the AccuSense cameras are great at that. They eliminate false alarms. OK, so unless you see a green or a red box on this screen, it's not triggering motion recording or the alarms. OK, so now let's go to night vision and take a look at the difference of these cameras at night. All right. Here is that camera um, in pitch black. This actually says 541. So let's back up a little to make sure there's 258 in the morning. Uh, let's let it queue up. Um, and as you can see, it's it's pretty good night vision, right? There's not a lot of lighting in this facility. It comes mostly from the road. Uh, but as you can see, the yard is lit up, okay? This is what you are going to get from an AccuSeries um, AccuSense camera in complete darkness, okay? Now let's look at the value series in complete darkness, okay? Oftentimes, I did want to point to, um, I don't know if I can find an example for you or not, but if you have these AccuSense cameras with the uh, night fighter technology. If you have a well lit area, uh, which this is not, if you have lights in the parking lot, um, oftentimes it will be in color at night. It doesn't even switch into IR mode. Um, again, this is only when there's complete darkness. So yeah, let's view and compare now a value series camera at night. Okay, so here in the top right corner of your screen, um, you can see a value series camera, okay? Um, and you can definitely see a difference between the uh, the Ultra Series AccuSense camera um, and the 
value series camera without dark fighter okay um, there is some white here which undoubtedly is probably affecting the RR, IR a little bit uh, but you can see in the background here it is very dark okay um, and when we looked at the uh, AccuSense series, uh, series camera that was not the sense um, so yes the AccuSense camera with the night fighter technology again this is a ultra series camera um, much clearer at night okay so that's one of the differences in price point right we already covered motion uh, and the ability of the camera to sense people and vehicles um, there's the other big factor uh, night vision okay clearly in the favor of the ultra series cameras okay all right let's cover the last difference between the value series and the ultra series cameras this is a accusense camera with a built-in mic uh, that we covered earlier as you can see we're live viewing and you can hear the audio there's not much going on but we'll sit in and listen for a second not much going on you can hear some birds chirping and some voices um, but yes, there's audio with these cameras, and it's included with that built-in mic. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the field.